255 or 252 no shutdown so the bandwidth for serial 1 slash 1 is 1000 and delay is 2000 so bandwidth is 1000 and delay is 2000 exit okay so now we can configure the IP address and bandwidth and delay to R2 router now we can configure R3 router so we can go to the R3 router and interface serial 1 slash 0 IP space address so the IP address is 85.120.72.0 so 85.120 right yeah so 120.72.2 255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
so first of all we have to go to this serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 so interface serial 1 slash 0 so the IP address is 100.100.2 so subnet mask is 255.255.252 no shutdown to enable this interface and bandwidth is so the bandwidth for serial 1 slash 0 is 800 and delay is 4000 so bandwidth is 800 and delay is 4000 exit next interface serial 1 slash 1 IP space address so the IP address is 150.150.150.0 slash 30 so here we can assign 150.150.150.2 and subnet mask is 255.255.255.252 no shutdown to enable this interface so next bandwidth for serial 1 slash 1 is 1600 and delay is 8000 so the bandwidth is 1600 and delay is 8000 exit interface serial 1 slash 2 IP space address so the IP address is 50.50.50.2 and subnet mask is 255.255.255.252 no shutdown to enable this interface and bandwidth for serial 1 slash 2 is 2400 so 2400 and delay is 12000 exit next interface serial 1 slash 3 so the IP address is 201.100.100.0 slash 30 so here I assign 201.100.100.2 submit mask is 255.255.252 no shutdown to enable this interface next the bandwidth for serial 1 slash 3 is 3200 and delay is 16000 so 3200 bandwidth and delay is 16000 exit ok so in all the router we can go to that particular serial port and assign the IP address as well as the bandwidth and delay okay now we can configure ehrp routing protocol into all the router so bif okay we have to go to the r1 router r2 router r3 router r4 r5 and r6 router we have to configure ehrp routing protocol so go to the r1 router so router ehrp here we can give the autonomous system number so autonomous system number the range should be 1 to 65535 in that range we have to give any value that value should be matched on all these router then no 